Hi, I'm Brian Sheets with American Rifleman Magazine. This week we have a pistol from SIG. This is the MPX. This is the pistol derivative of essentially what is the new submachine gun that SIG makes uh, in some cases for law enforcement as a full auto uh, firearm. Of course, this one's a semi-automatic and it's a pistol available to anybody who wants to purchase uh, any other type of pistol. But in this case, what we have is a gun that has essentially an AR lower it's a, it's a gas-operated short-stroke piston design in which a gas block bleeds gas off the barrel, impinges on a piston that drives the bolt carrier rearward. And this does have a rotating bolt uh, full lockup. So SIG saw themselves kind of going after the MP5 uh, market with this gun, but in a sense it operates completely differently. That gun, of course, being a delayed roller locked action and this one being, as I said, gas operated with a rotating AR style bolt. But it has typical AR controls on the bottom. So you've got a uh, safety, 90 degree safety there. You've got a bolt catch, bolt release, and then you've got bilateral uh, magazine release. And on that point, the magazine, at least the longest magazine available in this case, is a Lancer manufactured 30 round. Now this particular model, that I have in my hand is nine millimeter, but SIG has intentions to produce it in 40 Smith and Wesson and in uh, 357 SIG, of course, their, their proprietary cartridge. They have come up with something here that is uh, got the advantages of a little more, uh, quite a bit more barrel length than a typical pistol. So this is over eight inches of barrel. And again, with the magazine, the capability of firing 30 rounds uh, before reloading. So those are the advantages that a uh, pistol of this type brings to the table. In this case, there's a chunk of Picatinny rail on the back, and that can be used to attach a single point sling so that you know it's tethered around the user and the gun just hangs free. And then when you want to employ the gun, you can push that sling out and put tension on that sling, and the gun is stabilized a bit by that. Um, this gun is also designed, the receiver, the upper receiver is designed in such a way as to accept a retracting stock. Now once you get into that, you've crossed over into the SBR realm and it would have to be registered as a short barreled rifle. You've got attached sights that fold on the upper rail that's the full length of the receiver. You've got an AR style charging handle with a typical release that brings the bolt carrier back and then is not physically connected to the bolt and can just be pushed forward and snapped into place. So all in all, the MPX is a pistol in the modern sense for those folks looking for something with a little bit more capacity, a little bit more barrel length for efficiency of the cartridge. And what I didn't mention, one of probably the biggest benefits of these types of guns is that look at the sight radius. You've got over a foot of sight radius. That's quite a bit more than you get with a typical pistol, which might have, say, you know, five, six inches at the most. So to be able, with a sling, to employ this in such a way that you, you push that gun out against the tension of the sling, and then with like a red dot optic or what have you, you you've got pretty forgiving ability to get sights on target, you really have the advantages of, again, the longer barrel, the longer sight radius, and the greater magazine capacity than you typically find in a hand in a in a conventional concealed carry handgun. Uh, the MPX, this is SIG's effort to go for the uh, submachine gun and uh, uh, large frame pistol market, and I think they've got a really interesting gun here. The insides are impressive, and it's it's definitely made to function without a lot of dirt and crud build up because of the, the gas operation with the rotating bolt. So I think they've taken the, the, this type of a platform to, the, to a new level. For more on SIG firearms, visit SIGSour.com.